Hey guys, Heather Marks. I am doing this video because you guys asked me to share my secret Facebook live trick that I had on the screen a little while ago. So I figured I would just do the tutorial um, and show you guys exactly how to do it because it's a little tricky if you don't see it step by step. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to download a program called OBS. Let me open the screen up a little bit more. Okay, so you're going to go to this website right here, obsproject.com, right there. And what you want to do is you want to download the OBS Studio. Um, you pick whatever computer you have. You can do it on Windows, Macs, or Linux. So what you want to do is you want to just download it for your particular operating system. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to open it up, run the install on it, and here we have it. So here it is. This is what OBS looks like right here. Um, now, what we're going to do is you are going to open it up, and then you want to start getting your settings ready. So the settings that you want to add first are your audio input capture. Um, this is basically what your microphone is. So I just did built-in microphone because that's what my computer uses. Um, oh, I did it twice. Okay, let me get rid of that. I already have it on there. And then you want to do your media source. So your media source is right here. And that is going to, it should already be on there. Um, it should be on auto, okay? And then you wanna do your, hey, I did it again. And then you wanna do your, this is for your device. Hold on one second. What did I use as? It was video capture device. So that's basically whatever camera you're using to capture your Facebook Live. Obviously, I'm using the FaceTime HD camera, um, which is on my Mac. And then you always want to make sure you click Use Buffering. Um, you want to use the buffering because when you have the Facebook Live going, and sometimes it lags, especially with this program, I noticed that it had like, I don't know, a four-second lag on it. Um, and I don't know if that was just because of my internet and where I was sitting. I haven't really played around with it too, too much yet, but it will help with the lag if you're using the buffering. So you definitely, definitely want to use the buffering on that. Now, people were asking me about the pictures that I had on the side of my screen. First of all, we can move this around. So you can just click on the, the image and you can set this to full screen. Um, so if you have like a black box on your screen, you can move it around, you can move yourself around, you can make it go anywhere you want. So you can put that right there. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Canva. So I use Canva to make my image. Um, and I, so this was the image that I had earlier. I'll show it to you. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this was the image that I made earlier. Um, and I used the 500 by 1200 pixel. So when you go over here to file and you wanna resize your design, you wanna do 500 by 1200 and you're gonna make a picture. Um, you want it to have like a bookmark type picture, like a long triangle. Um, so when you do your layouts, I clicked the first layout. Um, I'm not gonna redo it. And then you can add elements to it. You can add shapes, backgrounds, text. You can upload pictures to it. I just put my information on here. And then I, what, what I did was I downloaded it to my computer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up OBS again and you're gonna find your picture. So you're gonna go to image. You're gonna browse. Mine is in my downloaded. I think it's the last one on here. So I'm gonna click on my image and I'm gonna open it up. Oh, and you also wanna save it as a PNG, so that's important. You save it as a PNG, and you're gonna open it up. So, here we have it, and again, I can move this and shape it as much as I want. I'm moving my screen. So you just click on the image, and I'm gonna put it right up here. Move my screen back down. 
and I'm going to size it to my screen however you want it so you want to make sure all of your things are on there and then what you can also do is you can add another one so if I wanted to go ahead and say add my company logo I can go ahead and add that so I'm just gonna go down to my company logo and I'm gonna plop that on there too and you guys you can add um, anything you can add a banner like you can make pretty much anything you want on here um, and decorate it as much as you want and it'll show up on the Facebook live so once you have your picture however you want it to look whatever you've added onto your Facebook live screen you're going to go back into your Safari and you're gonna go to Facebook live .com, sorry just facebook.com slash live slash create and it's going to bring you to this page here okay so what you're gonna do is create live stream and you're gonna hit next it's gonna start to bring up the information and what's cool about this is you can go live in um, different groups you can go live on an event and it's gonna say offline what you want to do is you want to copy the stream key this is important this is where I was messing up so you're gonna copy the stream key and you're gonna go back to OBS and you're gonna click start streaming and then you want to go to settings stream and you want to put your stream key in and you're gonna hit okay so now it's connecting hopefully sorry hit start streaming again and it should start connecting once you go back here it'll it'll go from offline to fetching video stream so you're gonna give it a minute um, whatever you want your post to say is what you're gonna put up here so just like you would go on Facebook live and here it is and then you're just gonna hit go live at the bottom so I don't know why I can't move this it's not letting me move this but anyway you're just gonna hit go live at the bottom and then once you hit go live you're gonna go live on your Facebook page and everything is gonna show up as the screen right here um, so I'm gonna cancel that because that's how you do it and then once you're done you can click out of here you can make a new one you can use the same one over and over um, you can change the information time for time um, and this has to be done from a laptop so you can't do this from your phone um, there's no capability for it yet this has to be done from your laptop um, many people don't think that they can go live from their laptop but you can you just have to make sure you go to this screen first um, if you want to share it in a different group or an event you want to make sure you do that before you um, click the next button for the go live and it's all done right here so this is the simplest way to do it the easiest way to do it um, as long as you follow it step by step you should have no problem getting on Facebook live um, all right so that's that if anybody has any questions post them in the comments below and I hope this answered your question on how to go live and have nice little decorated images in your video have a good day everyone